So some few announcements quickly in respect of what the ICA is doing going into the future. So the first thing is going to be the examination. So registration for the March 2024 examination, it's going to be commencing on the 22nd of January and will be closing on 16th of February 2024. As always, we have three centers in Accra, so ICAG College, the Zenit College, and then the UPS, the Accra College of Education near UPSA. So these are the three centers in Accra. And uh, in Kumasi, there are two centers there. In other regions, the regional capital, we have centers. IC has centers there. Tema, there is an, a center there. If you happen to be in Liberia, then definitely the capital of Liberia, Monrovia, you will be able to get access and uh, write your exam there. To register, you know that already you go to your student portal. That is the sms.icag.com and you'll be able to uh, do your registration. Most importantly will be the examination fee. Level 1, bump up a little bit to 86. Level 2, 505. Level 3, 530 Ghana City per paper. The examination is going to be taking place between 4th of March 2024 and 18th of march 2024 so these are the few things you need to take into consideration when it comes to the examination for the timetable of the exam it's going to be the same issues that you know already we are going to be sharing that with you as well if there are any questions you have in respect of the examination or there is any challenge that you have as you can see on the flyer here, you can contact the ICAG and you will be assisted in respect of what you have to do to help you to register for the examination. Then current syllabus will be expiring this year. And so the last examination in the, under the current syllabus will be the July 2024 examination. So the new syllabus which is going to be effective. The first exam of that is going to be in November 2024. Will be launched on Monday, 29th of July, 2024, 2 p.m. UPSA. So it tells you also that in case you are still on the uh, on the edge, trying to delay, trying to wait, trying to wait, the no syllabus is coming in. There are a lot of beautiful things in the syllabus various updates in the syllabus to various subjects and you're going to love it but we're going to talk about that after the launch of the syllabus because that would be very prudent to do so after the launch of the syllabus the various things that we have to take into consideration and know about going into the future we will be discussing that to help you so you can decide whether you want to wait till that syllabus becomes effective in november or you want to take some actions in march and july and see if you can become a chartered accountant as soon as possible